Hello students, we are in chapter number 5, exercise 5.3, chapter is arithmetic progression. Okay, let us take a question number 20. Let us read it. In a potato race, a bucket is placed at the starting point, which is 5 meter from the first potato and the other potatoes are placed 3 meter apart in a straight line. There are 10 potatoes in the line, as you can see in the figure. A competitor starts from the bucket, picks up the nearest potato, runs back with it, drops it in the bucket, runs back to pick up the next potato, runs to the bucket to drop it in and she continues in the same way until all the potatoes are in the bucket. What is the total distance the competitor has to here yeah, you can check the figure. This is the bucket. The competitor, here yeah, in the figure, the guard is given. Competitor, see, starts from here. The first potato is here. The distance she has to cover here, 5 meter. Again, she comes back to put the potato here. Again, I am explaining. The competitor starts from here, runs up to the first potato. Then, brings it and put it in the, in the bucket. So, the first distance this is how much 5 meter again comes 5 meter so it is 5 plus 5 10 meter have you understood how 10 meter i am again saying this is 5 meter again she comes back so 5 plus 5 10 meter and to bring the next potato this potato how much distance she has to cover you see this much distance she has to cover in this direction again she has to return back so total distance is twice of the distance in this direction. What is the distance in this direction? 5 plus 3. 5 plus 3. That is 2 into 5 plus 3. 8. 16 meter in both the directions. A3. Total distance covered to bring this potato. Okay. So twice the distance in either direction. What is this direction? 5 plus 3 plus 3. 5 plus 3 plus 3 2 into 11 ok so this is 22 meter now here you can check that there are 10 potatoes so here let us see whether this is an AP or not then only we can apply the formula for AP here A2 minus A1 16 minus 10 is 6 meter a3 minus A2, 22 meter minus 16 meter is 6 meter. So the distance difference between two consecutive terms is same, so it is an AP. Since the difference between two consecutive term, term is same, so it is and AP. Okay, now we have to find the total distance. I will find using the formula for AP, which let us do in the yeah. next step. We have got the first term A1. First term is how much? 5 plus 5, 10 meter. Okay, 10 meter. Difference between the two terms we have already found. It is how much? 6 meter. Now N is 10. Now we have to find the total distance. Let us use the formula for the sum. We know S equal to N into twice A plus N minus 1 into D by 2. Okay. At first please understand, try to understand why we are using this. Because the terms fall in an AP and we have to find the total distance. This distance. Okay. The potential the car most in this direction that comes back. Total this distance. Then this distance. Then this distance in this way we, are, we have to add all those terms. That's why we are using this. Now let us substitute the values n equal to 10. 2 into a is 10. n is 10 minus 1. d is 6. Okay, students, let us simplify. This is very easy sum now. Main thing is this we have to understand this is an AP. 5, 20. This is 9 into 6, 5, 20, 54, 74, okay, so let us multiply, we can do it directly here also, 
So the competitor has to move 370 meter total. All the students, I hope all of you understood. Thank you, students.